welcome to the first episode of Reviews on Wheels. Toki is here to review some games. No, no, no. Not a long ass 10 minute video. Even though YouTube likes those. I want to keep this between three to five minutes and I clean this episode because of uh, explanation. So in my car, because uh, I work down the way, I come to this spot to eat lunch, relax, do a little ride and all that. So I said to myself, self, why don't you start reviewing games you like? Very fast. Why not? I said, okay, let's do it. So first game we're going to do is, I don't know where my, I should point. It's hot. It's Pyre. Now Pyre was developed by Supergiant Games, the same people that made Transistor. And uh, Bastion, that game with one of the greatest songs ever. <laughs> Musically, Darren Corp took the helm once again, as he has with all the other games. If I explain to you that you woke up buck naked in Death Valley, and three people are standing over you. They find out you have the reading level of a third grader, which makes you the smartest person in the room immediately. Upon them finding out this, you are labeled as the reader. In combat, it is up to you to coach the team to victory. These games are called rights, and these players are called exiles. You see how it gets so sad all of a sudden? <laughs> so you're trying to help these exiles to get home. You're in hell. I'll pretty much say it right now. You're, you're in hell. You're trying to get out. There's other people trying to stop you. But you just got to stay strong. I feel like this is an important game because you're not just trying to get the W. You're not just trying to win. You have to take the loss. And you must move on. Some people will turn off the game before they lose so they get the chance to go back and get the win. No, you kind of have to take the punches and the bruises as they come. And it helps tell the story. Since Super Giant Games, they don't do narration normal. So for instance, uh, Rookie, I think his name is, I haven't played in a while. Rookie, he is halfway to being enlightened. When you're enlightened, that means you get to go back up and live a normal life. You're cleansed of all your past transgressions. Yet he feels sick because he's been participating in too many rites. That's the thing that can happen also. So now my man, I can get him there, but now I have to send someone else up. And now I'm screwed because I've been working so hard on getting Ricky back to his family. He can't even have the strength to fight. So this narration thing is happening as you're playing. As you travel on the world map, it's a pretty basic world map. You fly, you drive, you swim, but there are separating paths. And a character will show up on each dialogue tree saying you can find a material here, or I know a good place for you to study so that you can level up your stuff faster. And you can't go back, it's permanent. So you're creating this narrative, this narrative already on top of that. Now, I like to compare Pyre to two sports, basketball and water polo. Basketball, because the main point of the game, when you get into the combat, you're trying to score on the other opponent's Pyre and douse that flame. Once you douse that flame, you're the winners, you gain experience and move on. But you can only move when you have the ball. You have a certain aura around you as well. Bah! Now I have this aura around me, protecting me. And I can walk. But my other teammates, the two other teammates, they can't walk. Now if I pass it over to my other teammate across the field, he can walk now. And I'm slowly moving us forward to our goal. Each individual human, as they do in real life, they believe in chakra and all that bullshit, has their own aura size. If I'm a, I'm a big guy, so I would have a pretty significant aura. Uh, someone smaller than me, uh, around like five, two, five, six medium size and then the dog characters the animals very small aura but of course they're small so they're fast medium you're balanced large you're honking slow piece of crap and developers these are three ex employees from ea that came together and decided that when it comes to gameplay and story they want to do it a little bit differently so like i mentioned before the concept of this game it doesn't feel like it but it's accepting but it's your accepting your and what you do to move on what you do to move on, and what you do 